Hi there, just a quick tip today, we're in Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you how to make a video bug for your video productions. A video bug is basically just taking where you have your logo, and as I play my video here, you can see my ESO logo in the lower corner. So it's just kind of a watermark to let people know that this is coming from ESO Solutions in case they were to download this file or they were watching it. So this lets them know it's coming from ESO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the track here and delete this and just show you how to do it here. I have an AI version of my logo here. I have a PNG file and a JPEG. Here's the JPEG. And I have a PNG file. So if I put my playhead over the actual Illustrator file, I can go up here and double click on it, press on it, move it over here. And I can come over to my effect controls and I can change the opacity of this down to maybe, I don't know, how about 20, 30 percent, whatever you like. And that's just going to show up the whole time it plays. Now, the next time we come over here and put the playhead over a JPEG file, we know a JPEG file is a file that automatically adds a white background when it's saved. So if I have a Photoshop file and I have transparent areas, if I save it as JPEG, it's going to put a white background on there. Well, that's not any good. I'm going to delete that. So let me click on it and delete it. The next one, of course, is a PNG file. Let me double click on it. Press it over here if I can get a hold of it. Put it right here. Click off and because it is a PNG file saved out of like Photoshop, the transparent pixels remain transparent. It's respective. So whenever you want to keep transparency in a pixel-based file like Photoshop, you're going to save it as a PNG file. So that is the formats that you'll probably end up using, either PNG or AI. I'm going to actually delete the PNG one here. I guess it doesn't want to go away. Let me click on it again. There we go. I'm going to take my Illustrator file. I'm going to press on it here in the track. I'm going to bring it all the way to the beginning. I'm going to extend it to the full length of my demo. So it shows up the whole time. So as the video plays, the bug is there. One last thing, because this graphic file is just like any other graphic file or a photo, I can go over to Effects in my project area, find a cross dissolve and have it fade up and I'll put one at the end and have it fade down. There you go. That's how you make a video bug in Premiere Pro. Thanks.